Hi guys, howdy do. I'm Karen Adamski with shamamama.com and today I would like to talk about crystals. Um, it's a topic that I've been wanting to discuss for a while now but I really wasn't sure where to start because there are so many crystals out there, uh, so many different ways to use them and um, it's just a really vast, deep subject. So I could probably talk the next five years every day and still have lots and lots to talk about. Um, but just to keep it simple, today I'm going to start with sharing a few crystals with you that I use personally to help ground myself. And I think the ones that I've chosen to share with you today are ones that you'll find helpful for yourself as well. I don't think you can go wrong with these and they're very um, easily accessible. Um, but before I get started, I want to share a couple of resources with you. Um, the first one being the Crystal Bible. And this is a book that I use all the time. I love this. It's probably my best resource in regards to crystals. Um, it's a book by Judy Hall, and it's just packed full of um, really great information about you know, different, different crystals and how they work and what their healing properties are. And I love it, love it, love it. And then there's also the Crystal Bible, too. And it's just an extension of the first book. So it's interesting because uh, this one has more of the the rare, hard to find crystals, uh, i.e. the more expensive crystals. So you look at the tabs here that I've marked ones that I have, and then you look at this one and it's like, <laughs> you can totally tell what my budget looks like. So anyway, you can find both of these books um, available on my Shama Mama store, uh, on my Shama Mama webpage. And um, yeah, just go to the shop and everything in there, everything in my store is stuff that I've used myself and would recommend to other people. So these are definitely ones I would recommend if you choose. Um, okay, so getting started. The first crystal I want to share with you for grounding purposes is a smoky quartz. This is what a smoky quartz looks like. And uh, this one came from the Washoe County in Nevada. And this is a smoky quartz in its raw form. Uh, raw meaning that it comes right from the earth. It has not been shaped or polished or anything. The only thing I did with this was um, wash it off and use a toothbrush to get all the dirt out of it. But um, this is what it looks like. So that's a raw piece of smoky quartz. Awesome, awesome, awesome for grounding. This is an example of smoky quartz that has been shaped and polished. So they're the same kind of stone, same healing properties. Uh, just you know a little bit different I personally I prefer the raw stones typically only because they just seem uh, I like them in their natural form I think more people tend to like them polished um, and it really doesn't matter it's way whatever whatever you prefer um, it's interesting smoky quartz actually starts out as clear quartz so this is a clear crystal quartz and um, over the years as this is you know it's in the ground and it's growing and over the years like hundreds of years the earth can irradiate um, the, the crystal and basically bakes it like cooks it uh, and it turns into the smoky quartz it's really very interesting when it goes from this to this so great for grounding another stone I'd like to share with you for grounding purposes is black tourmaline and this is Probably my very favorite grounding piece. I love, love, love this tourmaline. Um, black tourmaline specifically, there's a number of different colors in the tourmaline family and they're all good for grounding. Uh, but black tourmaline especially is really great for um, protecting you from negativity. So that would be any kind of negative energy, whether it's attached to a person, um, a place, a situation. A lot of times uh, when I go on paranormal investigating, I will always have black tourmaline with me because you never know what kind of energy you're going to come across. So this is really great and this is easily accessible. I think I got this piece for about $35 and that was a really good deal. So it's, it's pricey-ish, kind of in the middle of the road, but um, well worth it. There's also um, pink tourmaline. I just wanted to share this with you. Because this is one of my favorite pieces in terms of its just beauty and interest. Um, so that the pink piece that you see here, uh, that is the tourmaline. And it's growing from a matrix of clear crystal quartz. So I just think it's really interesting to kind of see how, how it grows 
um, in there with the quartz, and it's just so pretty. I love this piece. Uh, and then I've got also brown tourmaline, and brown is really well known for its healing um, qualities uh, in terms of your immune system, um, disease, uh, and it's really fantastic for grounding. And I know this is really little, but the size of your crystals doesn't matter. It really doesn't um, with most crystals. Uh, it's your intention and what you're using it for. So this is just a little tiny piece of brown tourmaline, and it's very powerful. It looks like a little piece of root beer candy. I just want to eat it. Now I feel like having root beer candy. Uh, and then the last one I want to share with you, you know, it's funny. I, this is not a crystal, technically. Um, this is Himalayan pink salt. And it's just a big piece of salt that was mined in the Himalayan mountains. And it has fantastic grounding um, qualities to it. Uh, and it's just salt. Yummy, yummy. But the ones that I really love using for grounding are my salt bricks. And these are two pink salt bricks. People actually will use them and build homes or um, like little huts or just a room out of them because it's really great for healing. Super, super good energy. But what I'll do with these bricks is um, I'll just put them on the ground in the living room or under my desk and put my bare feet on them. And you can feel it. You can feel, like physically feel yourself grounding. You feel the energy running through your feet. Um, it's amazing. And these two bricks I got for $15 for the pair and it was free shipping because if you could see it's like oh these things are heavy so uh, it's a pretty good deal uh, and I got that on eBay so if you just do a search for Himalayan rock salt or Himalayan pink salt bricks um, I'm sure they'll come up and you'll find them so um, that's it for today I'm gonna keep it short and sweet I have so much to tell you about crystals I could just go on and on um, if there's anything in particular that you're interested in learning about a particular crystal or how you use crystals or, you know, different ways to use them, if there's anything that you're wondering about, go ahead and, and, and comment and text me or, um, you know, down in the thing, um, write to me and, and I'll, I'll talk about it. That would be really good because I just, I love it. It's fascinating. So I hope you're well, be happy, namaste, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.